Welcome to Robot Wars, the University Challenge. The brightest brains, cleverest cogs in the robotics machine, taking time out of the library and lab, dodging lectures and seminars to dodge opponents in the arena, book bashers turned metal mashers. Who will be handing out the lessons and to whom? Bachelors of the Art of Destruction, Masters of Mayhem, who will graduate with honours. Study hard. Grapple with the mysteries of science and pyrotechnics. Miss a lesson, you could be sent down. There'll be no student union, no student loans of advice and help, just student demos of excellence, roboteers trying to student each other's dreams. It's not a quad for flouncy graduation balls. This is an arena for muscular metal malls. No prancing, dancing or two twos. Just a first class degree of robot wars. The University Challenge, an ox bridge too far for some. Welcome the master of mayhem, Craig Charles. This is Robot Wars, where tonight, brains are definitely no match for brawn. In the pits are six robots from Britain's best universities. But in this challenge, there's no starters for ten. There's no conferring. Just get in there and bash the bolts out of your buffing opponents. <laughs> oh, yes. Time for a study in carnage. So, hey, let the wars begin. It's time to throw off the gowns and studious frowns. Time to lift and thrust and pound to dust. Time for scorch and scratch, revise, learn quick, or meet your match. Gathered around the war zone are the intellectual elite, taking time out from their extensive studies in the library to come hither and shout, pit, pit, pit. Should be educational. Let's crack on with round one. from Imperial College London, Infernal Contraption. Very similar to Robot Wars legend Stinger. Infernal Contraption, Imperial College team. Who are you going to smash and grab first? Um, that depends who we head towards first, really, right. and that's quite a random thing. But can you really cause any... I mean, apart from getting out of the way, can you cause any damage Oh, yeah, it? yeah, no, cos this has been around at 1,000 RPM and weighs about 16 kilos. Yeah. This whole assembly can also flip over, so it's like a hammer and a disc. The spinning drum weapon gets up to speed in three seconds so they don't have to wait between attacks for it to recover, but the radio reception, I fear, is questionable. From the University of Hertfordshire, Bear. Experience from four UK Robot Wars Championships, experience in defeat, that is. Representing the University of Hertfordshire, the Bearmoth team, they're back. Now, you've had a string of disasters. What's going to happen this time? We're going to win. Yes, you, do, you say that to me every time. <laughs> robots we've been up against in the past, these ones here, not up to what, they, really? what we're used to. A bit, a bit the, substandard. No, some of the spinners are good, but... You're not saying that they're, they're, they're a bit beneath you? No, well, we've, been, we've got experience, to put it that way. Yeah, but you know than to say things like that at yeah, this I know. stage. Oh, yeah, I know, it always backfire, but... Um... No, OK, so University of Hertfordshire, Ben Motti, you could say they're copy, but let's see what happens. Has the pneumatic flipper and axe tiger stripe bodywork spelling out warning, warning, manoeuvrable and quite speedy, but has no great history of longevity? From the Open University, CV. Newcomers to Robot Wars, they could begin a real robotic lecture here. 
Now, Open University team, you're up against some big universities here. Who would you most like to see out first? I'd, we'd like to see Infernal Contraption out first because they're probably the ones going to inflict the most damage upon our uh -huh. <laughs> little okay. bolt. All right. Now, interchangeable robots is the way forward. The weaponry can be all swapped around. So an axe and a flipper, which one first? Uh, the axe, definitely. Why? It inflicts the most damage. OK, that's yes. what we want to say. Thank you very much, Open University team. Good luck. Thank you very much. The axe, flipper or spike interchangeable weaponry is hidden in the central bay. Two-wheel driven, two casters at the rear, good armour, but poor speed, really. Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the teams then. Bayer Moth, Anthony Pritchard, Kane Aston and Michael Pritchard. And together, Infernal Contraption on the left, captained by Jonathan Pillai and CV on the right, captained by John Barker. In the arena for the house robots, Dead Metal with the serrated saw and the pincers. And Sir Killalot, those huge grappling claws. So they fear Infernal Contraption, but it's Bayamoth who comes slamming into Infernal Contraption. And the Imperial College students straight away, they were very confident. The University of Hertfordshire boys, Bayamoth, they have experience of many a Robot Wars UK Championship fight. They have to watch that spinning drum, though, on Infernal Contraption. It has four big metal teeth on the drum. You're trying to see there the... CV, Open University Axe coming down. CV is flipped. Will it be able to right itself? Bearmoth's bucket scoop got in and underneath there. Very similar to a previous UK Championship winning machine called Roadblock in many ways. Bearmoth with the front bowl bulldozer scoop blade weaponry. CV's Axe doesn't seem to be able to cause any sort of damage at all. They've driven it into the CPZ and Bearmoth look very, very strong here. Anthony Pritchard is driving. Michael Pritchard, his brother, is at the weaponry. Kane Aston is the engineer of the team. But have they ground to a whole Bearmoth? They've stopped right in the middle of the arena. And they are perplexed. Infernal Contraction on the attack. You're seeing there the CV team, they're still moving. Bearmoth had started magnificently, but what is going on there saying? The ref bot is coming in. I don't believe it is the reaction from the Bearmoth team. Stunned. Great start. Burnt themselves out. Look at that. They'll be crying all the way back to the lecture theatre tonight because Bearmoth are no giants of the Robot Wars University Challenge. The battery has come out, is the excuse from the Bearmoth team. That is bitterly disappointing for them. They had looked potentially destructive, very aggressive, well-controlled, stylish. And now, crestfallen, as the CV team look on, buffeted by Infernal Contraction, they will survive to fight in the second round of this University Challenge on Robot Wars. Bayamoth are about to be flung to oblivion. Big, heavyweight, 100 kilos machine onto the flame pit. I wonder now if they regret writing CV, if they'd left it alone. Would the batch have stayed in? Would Bearmoth have stayed in? Will the boys tell us? Oh, I don't know. They don't seem in the mood for talking. Whoa! Bearmoth were doing so well, but they've gone and blown it again! CV! An infernal contraption through to the next round! The anguish, particularly on your face, I have to say, Anthony. How do you feel? Very annoyed. Very annoyed. Is it was it anger or was it I everything? Mean, <laughs> every emotion went across yeah. your face. What was it that stopped you? We've lost a wire on the link. That's it. That's that. it. That loose connection. Now, the thing that was probably most poignant 
about that battle was, if you hadn't turned CV back over, you probably would have won because they would have been yeah, it's, unmovable before. It's all down to bad luck and just be nice, same way we've uh, flipped Deator back and forth before. It looks good Did and we grew our power. That's why you, were doing, you only just flipped them over to be nice? Oh, well, yeah. Well, I think we've learnt a lesson, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Fix the link. Yes. And I won't say anything about you being so confident before because that would be me. It's never stopped you in the past. Behemoth are out. Fluffy Infinity and Tiberius 3 are next up. From Loughborough University, Tiberius 3. Very razor-esque. They must be game and sporty too if they're from Loughborough. The robot is back, new, improved and with wings. Look, can it fly? Uh, should do. <laughs> it flies. Well, you're from Loughborough University. This is the Tiberius team. Now, this is just a brace for safety that's in the pit. What yeah. have you got here, then, in terms of tonnage? Uh, uh, about five tonne ram. So it should wow. give about three tonnes on the tip. Right. Very similar to Razor, really. University-wise, who do you really want to grind into the arena floor? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know grudges? <laughs> no. Too peaceful. Fluffy. Too peaceful. <laughs> Fluffy. Fluffy. You're right, OK. <laughs> I knew it would be in there somewhere. <laughs> Fluffy's for it. Fairly fast, highly manoeuvrable with a powerful hydraulic crushing weapon as we've seen. Good control, low ground clearance, tough armour, which is rare for a crusher, but is slow self-writing. From the University of Wales, Infinity. And beyond, they'll hope, with this powerful pusher. Right, this is University Challenge. What does it mean to Aberystwyth to win it? <laughs> It'll be a very good free advert for Aberystwyth University, I think. A uh, free <laughs> advert? For goodness sake, where's your spirit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm now, how strong are these claws? Um, we're not sure. We'll find out in a minute, I think. <laughs> is that strong enough to get through 15 mil steel? Probably not. <laughs> That's Tiberius for you. We might scratch it. <laughs> now, the one you were worried about was Fluffy. Yes. Uh, because you said to me, what, what were you most looking forward to about this? Well, we were quite confident we'd be able to push anything around in this heat because, well, we're very, very powerful at pushing things around. And they've showed up with a nice new pedal engine. Yeah. Which kind of negates that. So that means they're even more powerful. Yes, I get they're even more so powerful. So basically, again. your claws aren't going to get through Tiberius. You're not powerful enough to push Fluffy around. Is this going to be a complete unmitigated disaster for Aberystwyth University? No, not no. yet. <laughs> Positive thinking, see, power off. Runs both ways up with claws at the front and diamond tip spikes. Strong armour, fast manoeuvrable, but it has exposed wheels. From University College London, Fluffy. Fluffy headed students? Never. OK, Fluffy team representing UCL in London. Yep. Now, uh, Loughborough University have threatened to squash or over into the arena floor. How do you feel about that? Well, we'll see when we get into the arena. Yeah. Happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah? Well, how do you feel about Loughborough? I've never actually heard of it before. <laughs> OK, that's a very nice put down. But that Tiberius robot is very heavily armoured, a it new looks, eight. Yeah, it looks very strong, so uh, we're a bit worried about what's going to happen when we try and hit it, because uh, we have bent the weapon before and we've hit things with that thick steel armour, sort of mm. similar armour, but we'll see. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Steel frame with a 20 kilo spinner, very destructive weapon, fast at 20 miles an hour, good manoeuvrability, but I do question the reliability. Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the teams then. Sam and Stuart Smith and Craig Lawson of Tiberius 3. Infinity there on the left hand side, Carl, David, and Ed, and Fluffy, captained by Peter Holroyd. In the arena for the house robots, a kill a lot for those claws and the jaws of Growler. Mr Psycho's pet pooch. Two, one, well, Infinity didn't give themselves a chance, did they? They're straight into the beak-crushing jaw razor-esque of Tiberius 3. But that jaw seemed very slow to close and something's flown straight off there and across the arena floor. I think it was from Infinity. The University of Wales Aberystwyth boys were very self-deprecating beforehand. And with reason it would see the fluffy team in the jaws of a dilemma. 
and the jaws of Tiberius 3. Infinity with a little shove. Fluffy still in trouble. Infinity with another little push. Growler has a look and a nudge. Tiberius locked on to Fluffy. They fought in a couple of UK championships. In Robot Wars, Fluffy, I remember they were beaten in the heat final by Pussycat once upon a time. And they simply can't get away from Tiberius. And they're all a flame pit. Interesting for a petrol-driven robot. No wonder the Red Bot's having a close look. And Tiberius 3 drags them off the flame pit. That could have been nasty, couldn't it? Fluffy lifted, hoisted. I think immobile. Two machines survive this battle to go on to the next round. Tiberius 3, closely controlled by Sam and Stuart Smith. And Tiberius 3, locked horns with Fluffy early on and simply refused to let go, like a dog with a bone. Talking of dogs, Growler. <laughs> Smashes into the pit release. Pit, pit, pit. There's nothing subtle about Growler, is there? Now, who's going to go down? Fluffy Infinity. Infinity Fluffy. Which one? Someone's got to fall here. It's Fluffy. They're out. Infinity just holding on. And Growler shoved Tiberius down too. Oh, Fluffy hit the pit. Infinity and Tiberius 3, they go through. Now, I always say that dented pride is the real problem here on Robot Wars. No one really cares about the robot. That was the lethal blow, though. I, how much you can see in there, I'm not quite sure. So tell us about it, what happened? Um, our engine stopped before the fight started, which was a bit of a handicap. Yes. Now, we talked earlier with the other teams about you having a petrol engine and, and the great power that that gave you. It's, yeah. The problem is you can't restart a petrol engine no. once it stops. No, there's a bit of a problem there, isn't there? Had you thought that through? Obviously not, no. <laughs> Not well next, enough. Next year, next year. Yeah, ne next, next year. Yeah. Yes, OK, thanks for that. <laughs> and this weapon wasn't much good about, against Tiberius either, was it? That's because the petrol engine wasn't going. Yeah, but <laughs> even was. if it had, that armour, do you think you could have um, got through it? I think we'd have had a good go, yeah. You do? Yeah. OK. But I do think you want to go away and get a new engine. Yeah. Not petrol. <laughs> no. All right. Well done. So, Bear Moth and Fluffy have fallen in the Battle of the Boffins in the second round. We'll have CV against Tiberius 3, but coming up, Infernal Contraption against Infinity. So, two robots sent back to university to finally do some work on their robots, I mean. But for the survivors, it's round two. You're representing Avarice with this. <laughs> what do you think of the opposition? Uh, we fought them before mm -hmm. uh, in Series 6, and yeah. we could push them around a bit, um, but 259 kind of got in the way. Yeah. So we're looking forward to having a proper ding-dong with them this time. OK, on so one. you're still not quite sure how much damage these pinchers can do, and what are the... Mm, we did a bit of damage to Tiberius. Yeah, uh, but what are the tech uh, wrecks on here? Come on. Uh, well... We don't think we're going to get through their polycarb with our 170 PSI that we're pushing out. OK. Uh, we, we can hold them. We can push them around. We know that. Now, they've got a spinny disc. Yes. How fast is it spinning? I have no idea. Too how, fast. Probably. How thick is your armour? Seven and a half mil. So... It should be thick enough, we hope. <laughs> it should be thick enough, but we don't really know what we're up against. No. Well... <laughs> yeah. We'll find out in a few minutes, won't we? Yeah, you will. OK. Right, then we have Imperial College. Ha, ha, ha. Here is the opposition. Now, this spinning disc is what they're slightly worried about. They've got seven and a half mil steel. Can you yeah, get through steel. it? Steel. I thought yeah. it was aluminium. But, no, I think um, it's steel. Is it? I think it's steal. I might okay. be wrong. Well, we couldn't get through seven mil uh, steel. We might be able to get through seven mil aluminium. But how fast does this disc spin? About 12 and a half um, hundred RPM. So it's actually, compared to some of them, not that fast? No, it's not that fast and it's not that heavy, but it does accelerate very quickly. <laughs> Infernal Contraption. From Imperial College, London, Ray Thompson, Gary Ewart and the Captain Jonathan Pillai, who once drove Stinger to destruction in Robot Wars. Infinity. 
from Aberystwyth and the University of Wales, Carl Bater, David Sanford and Ed Butcher. Rubertiers, stand by. And in the arena for the house row, what's a killer look once again with that lance and the flame thrower of the sergeant. Attention for Sergeant Three, Bash. Two, one. Infernal contraption does a bit of a wheelie and a spin and a pirouette or two. And Infinity uh, tries to, well, um, stay out of trouble. Just egging Infernal contraption on, though with that big drum. Reminds me of Stinger here, but Stinger's got a swinging mace. Infernal Contraption's got that spinning drum with the teeth on it. Plenty of grip as well, and purchase it needs it. That's a great shove by Infinity. They are very much here, the surprise packet of this University Challenge, and they have Infernal Contraption on the ropes, as it were, the angle grinder and the arena sidewall. And now clutch between the claws of Infinity and the flamethrower of Sergeant Bash. And Infernal Contraption has to do something here. And quick, it's all Infinity pushing and driving. They can get up to 12 miles an hour out of this. They have a high and suspect ground clearance of two centimetres, but Infernal Contraption cannot get to grips and take advantage. They are on the defensive. They are being pushed and shoved. Both machines, 100 kilos in weight. Infernal Contraption right up against it here. In comes Sergeant Bash. Infinity has done all the work thus far. We're seeing there the Infernal Contraption team in trouble. There from the arena camera angle. Well, they spun and they got away from each other there. As part of that Infinity weaponry, been buckled, it has. Buckled and bent. Great camera shot there from above. In comes Sir Killalot. Now this could turn into a war of attrition. Which machine can last the longest in a CPZ against the house robots? Infinity are hoisted. The Aberyst with boys very nearly out. This is a terrific fight. The wheels are spinning. Infernal contraption. Bucking to and fro. Infinity trying to get away from Sir Killalot. Sir Killalot boxing them in. They're after Infinity. Sir Killalot has Infinity. Hoisting up the boys of the University of Wales. Oh, they've done brilliantly here, I think. That will be a sad end. They're away from Sir Killalot. Just saw a sight there of the Welsh team. They're bashing on Infernal Contraption once again. It's been a good second half to the battle for Infernal Contraption. The weaponry can get up to speed in three seconds, they told us. It doesn't look as if it's capable of that right now. Slowed almost to a halt. Aberystwyth again chasing down on the Imperial College boys from London. Spinning madly Infernal Contraption, but going nowhere. A little bit like the student coming out of the student union on a Friday night. Infernal Contraption, almost in the claws of Sir Killalot. Turns. There's nothing lazy and lay about about these students. It's up and at them. And in the corner in the CPZ, Infernal Contraption could get a Sir Killalot slam any moment. Get out, get out. Wake up. Get out of bed. I know you probably haven't heard that too often in your student lives, but I'm telling you to do it now. Get away. In comes Infinity. Away goes Infernal Contraption. It's going to go to the judges, is it? Within seconds, can Infinity finish it? What a battle this has been. Very close. Oh, the judges will have to decide. That was splendid. Well done. Well, who will be heading back to the student bar to drown their sorrows? Will it be Infernal Contraption or will it be Infinity? Our judges are conferring. Let's have a look at the robotic highlights. Infinity with a slam to the side wall. Point scored for style and aggression. And once again, Infernal Contraption very much in trouble up until this point, trying to do anything to get away. And they did. That was a good stylish turn. Infinity suffering damage. Control, damage and aggression. How did you think it went? 
Um, I think it went pretty well. It's pretty even. We both damaged each other and we were both still working quite well by the end. How did you think it went? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you won? Do you think you lost? Don't know. I wouldn't like to call it. I think it's a really hard one to call, but they've gone for infinity! <laughs> Guys, here's your start to 10. No confirmed. Okay. Um, how do you think the judges split you up there? What, um, what do you think they went on? Well, I think they had a dartboard with infinity there. And if they're looking on there, it's fair, because they had balanced darts. So, so. <coughs> I think infinity goes on forever. And yeah. uh, when, when, that's, when that's the killer like picked that, it up yeah. and all that, you yeah. know, and was moving around with it, yeah. it we've stood that. It does, yeah. And, and it kept on going. Yeah, we've been picked up before, but... Uh, I clearly couldn't catch us this time. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you think all, your, all the chaps in Imperial College are going to treat this defeat? I oh, know they probably sort of look down their nose at us. Like, no, they weren't. I mean, <laughs> they always look down your nose at you there, don't they? No. <laughs> what, what, what are you saying? What, what are you studying there? Electronic engineering. You're going to have to study a bit harder then, aren't you? Well, <laughs> well, no, I didn't design any electronics in there, actually. Who did? So, uh, well, they're off the shelf. Uh, disappointed? Uh, not really, because, I mean, you know, they're a good team, they're good lads, and, uh, you know, it's a good battle, evenly matched, so... You did uh, really well. Let's hear it for the boys from Imperial College, Infernal Contraption! <laughs> Um, how do you think you snuck that? I couldn't, I couldn't separate you. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, um, I thought when we were being carried on by Kill a Lot, that was it for us. You guys are from Aberystwyth yes. University. Yep. What, are you, what are you studying there? Physics. Physics? Yeah, all of us. All you're doing physics? Yeah. So how come you're doing engineering? How come you're building robots? Because we're not very good at physics, but <laughs> <we're doing engineering. laughs> Do you think you chose the wrong course then? Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, so the physics department all cheer them for you? Be, yeah, they should be. They, they should probably, be now. All the engineering department will be going, oh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they would like this one bit. I'm sure they'll all be very proud. Ladies and gentlemen, the boys from Aberystwyth University! <laughs> Infinity! Great fight, Infernal Contraption out. Infinity will meet the winners of CV and Tiberius 3. Tiberius 3 against CV. Yep. Now, in theory, you should win. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Finding, it, finding everything holds out. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of tr trouble with traction on the arena floor in the last fight. Um, and we, we've had a test, had a test and it runs fine in the practice area, so hopefully it'll, it'll be fine against, against them. Although the arena floor is always slippery because it's got other people's debris on it, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. Stevie, don't have a particularly powerful weapon, but you do. Tell me about the power in there. Um, oh, yeah, it's, um, it's the same power as Series 6, so there's a, a, a fair old tonnage on it. And we've also upgraded our tip. We've, yeah. uh, we've got a hardened steel tip in there now, which has right. been ground nicely, and uh, that will improve penetration for sure. So it's a lot harder than it used to be? Yeah. OK, and self-writing? Uh, yeah, or self right as well. Because if they, they've got interchangeable weapons, if they choose to use their flipper, you still should be all right? Yeah, should be. OK. In theory, in theory. But as we all know, Robot yeah. Wars doesn't work on theory. Good yeah. luck. And for the Open University turnaround, up against the Loughborough University team, Tiberius. Uh, yes. In theory, they should win. In theory, they should win, yes. What do you but reckon is going to happen? We have a lot of luck. Um, we might stand a chance. Yeah. We might. Well, the robot's not work performing 100 percent so... You never know what's going to happen, Robot Wars. You've got interchangeable weapons. We have. They've got an anti... Uh, a self-writing device. Yes. I so believe. an anti-flipping mechanism. Anti-flipping. <laughs> Depends yes. how you look at it, doesn't it? What are you going to use? We're going to stick with the axe. You are. We talked about putting the flipper on, but we, uh, we definitely feel the axe is... Is it powerful <laughs> enough to do any real damage? Um... We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I like an optimist. <laughs> Tiberius 3. With the five ton hydraulic crusher, Sam and Stuart Smith and Craig Lawson. CV. The axe, the flipper, the spike. John Barker, David Lott, and Andrew Conway. Roboteers, stand by. The house robots in the arena, so kill a lot once again. And Matilda. Good to see the matriarch of Mayhem back. The ref box light goes green for go. Tiberius 3, a push to and fro. 
side by side. They gather strength. CV away and trying to bring that pickaxe down to bear on Tiberius 3. Tiberius 3 has the little bulldozer shover to get in underneath CV's 0.8 centimeter robot round clearance. And then, of course, the great crushing beat to come down. They say it's upgraded for faster operation. I'm not too sure if that weaponry is as slick and quick as a razor type beat but nonetheless effective so far. And CV have got to grips with Tiberius 3. They've grappled at close quarters. Now, which is the stronger machine? Tiberius 3 for a tug of war, just the heavier. But I'm not too sure whether that beat can crush down to ground level, you know, and really close in on CV. And the Open University boys are holding on in there. Pit, 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 you can hear the cry, down it goes. Tiberius 3 would have started his favourites, I would have thought, for this battle. CV are holding on in there, though. Tiberius now will try the drag. Can CV get away? Tiberius 3 manoeuvring them towards the pit, and they've got... Cease. In the end, Tiberius 3, too strong. The Open University boys sliding away. CV! Destined for the pit of oblivion, Tiberius! They go marching on! CV, the pit of oblivion it was. It was, yep. What was the game plan? Um, survive. <laughs> Keep out of the way. He's got quite a nasty little pincher, hasn't he? He has. It's pretty vicious. What do you do at the o Open University? Uh, we're all astronomers. Astronomers? <laughs> so astronomers. Well, didn't, didn't you see it in your stars? <laughs> <laughs> it's not astrologers, astronomers. Astronomers. <laughs> um, so, how you do an astronomy at the Open University and yet you spend all your spare time building robots? Uh, you've got to have something to do. You think you've got to pass your degree? <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we didn't lose too badly. I think we put up a decent fight. You put up a decent fight. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for CV. Tiberius. <laughs> Loughborough University. Yeah. Now, isn't that like a physical education university? Oh, isn't that full of like, you know, big, strong, strapping lads and women? Yeah, they've got yeah, great, great team in sports, but they've also got... A, Really good mech engine department, so yeah. uh, we're glad to be representing them. You're fighting Infinity in the final of University Challenge, and they go on forever. Yeah. You know, yeah. tough little robot. Yeah, they're very tough. Eh? Yeah. Do you think you can have them, though? Uh, yeah, I think we'll have a good chance, yeah. Oh, come on, we can't wait to see it. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Let's hear it for Tiberius! <laughs> well done, lads. Come on, CV, pleased to have got that far, I think. The University Challenge final, though, between Infinity and Tiberius 3. So the Boffins are here. They've made it through to the final of the University Challenge. Infinity from Aberystwyth. University and from Loughborough Tiberius 3 and an eminent man himself has joined me up here in the crow's nest Professor Noel Sharkey from Sheffield University. Welcome to my world. Thank are, you. Are the students just wasting our time, wasting their time or are they learning something? No, I think they learn quite a lot from this and they're not quite buff yet by the way, <laughs> give them time. Yeah, they learn a lot. I mean, they learn how to bring a product into the real world and make it work in real time rather than little bitty projects that they might do at university. But I think one of the most important things to learn is about how cooperation and competition work together in the arena they're highly competitive out and out in the pits it's very very cooperative atmosphere with everybody helping each other and it's good to see how when you go into the workplace how those two elements can s exist side by side and what about the strengths of these two well uh, the abyss with one infinity can turn over and still drive so it doesn't need self-writing it run both sides claws are a bit weak I'd say a bit bendy diamond tips but the you know the structure itself is a bit bendy Tiberius not totally original, it's a razor derivative, if you, you can see that. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's a lot slower than the razor, a lot less pressure and not nearly as manoeuvrable. Still, for me, I'm going to go with the Emperor Tiberius. The fabled ferocious dragon of Wales, Aberystwyth University, represented by the Infinity Team.
let's just have a little look at these crushers now, shall we? <laughs> they, they're not seen, quite the gnashing teeth. They've seen better days. Well, yeah. yesterday was a better day for them, to be fair. Well, they are, they are slightly skew whip after the a last little. battle, aren't they? Yes, a little. Somebody's been in there with a hammer trying to straighten them out. It trying hasn't to straighten worked. them. It hasn't worked, no. <laughs> How do you feel about this final? Because uh, honour is at stake. Honour's the, honor at of stake. The whole of Wales, if not Aberystwyth. Well, we're happy to be here. We've done better than we expected. You know, we've got the, to the last fight. Um, we try our best. Take it as it comes, isn't it? Have you got any chance of winning? Slim to maybe yes. to yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, OK. Well, at least there's one person who's thinking positively. <laughs> Round the corner we have Loughborough University. Sam, how goes it? Oh, very good, yeah. So the robot's in good shape. Yep. Which is more nicely. than I can say for Infinity. Have you seen the state of it? Um, yeah, they've got, the claws got a bit bent up from the last <laughs> they attack. They did, but... didn't they? Um, they caused you a little bit of damage, didn't they, yeah. early on? Yeah. Um, nothing much to speak of. They, they put a hole in, in a couple of places and uh, they broke a bracket at the back, but we've uh, replaced that, repaired it a lot stronger now. So right, and, it and I would say you probably don't have to worry about those claws too much. No, I don't think so. They're out of shape. So where where do you reckon you're going to go for? Um, I think their weakness is probably in the wheels. In the wheels? If, or if, if we grab between the wheels and the body work, they'll probably break. Right, you understand that's just between you, me and the nation? Yeah. Keep <laughs> it quiet. So, we reach the climax of this battle of the brains. Two robots remain, but only one can be crowned our University Challenge champions! <laughs> so, hey, let the final begin! Tiberius Three. From Loughborough University, the favourites, I would guess, Sam and Stuart Smith, Craig Lawson. Infinity. I've been delighted to have got this far from the University of Wales and Aberystwyth, Carl Beta, David Sanford and Ed Butcher. Roboteers, stand by. For the University Challenge final in the arena for the house robots, shunt. Sergeant Bash, his old mate in there too. that Infinity can push for Wales. Very dogged and determined. They need to stay away from that beak of Tiberius III. But interesting that uh, Professor Noel Sharkey agreed with me that it hasn't got great pressure, the beak. We'll see now. Tiberius III has again got to grips with Infinity. Infinity has to push and shove. You're seeing there Sam Smith at the controls for the Loughborough University team. And his Tiberius three is on the track of Infinity. Infinity trying to turn away. The quicker machine here, up to 12 miles an hour. Tiberius three can only muster nine MPH. But that's good driving by Sam Smith in pursuit of Infinity. Onto the angle grinder, the sparks will fly. Infinity looks patched up. Great view there of the control pods. Perched high above the arena. The Infinity weaponry is buckled and totally out of commission. There is no weaponry for Infinity. It's now a question of just eking out time, staying away from trouble. And to be honest, hoping that Tiberius 3 makes a bad mistake. They won't. They've got the jaw beak in on the exposed wheels. I mentioned right at the start of the programme, the wheels being exposed was a robot weakness for Infinity. Lucky to get away there. Again, an intense tactical fight is being waged out there. Infinity has to stay away from the Tiberius III weaponry can crush at a force of five tons. Highly manoeuvrable Tiberius III, if not the quickest around the arena floor. Infinity trying to push them into the CPZ. That was interesting, because Sergeant Bash, that craggy old Robot Wars veteran of many a campaign, lay lurking. Tiberius III, this time tries to shove Infinity into a CPZ and scuttling across to meet them shut with the diamond edge axe blade coming.
hammering down. The ref bot looks across. This is a, a very tight and tense affair for the honour of the brainiest boffins of Robot Wars. And the judges, I think, are going to be called upon again here. It has not been the most brutal. It has been a wily old affair, and the judges will have to decide the winners. Infinity or Tiberius? Well, we have a tie in the University Challenge final. We're going to have to go to the judges. They'll be looking at style, control, damage and aggression. While they're making up their minds, let's review the highlights. What clues can we give you? Good aggression from Tiberius. No great damage caused, was there? Again, aggressive. Damage sustained by Infinity, I would think. Tiberius again in control. No, for me, it has to be one winner. It has to be Tiberius 3, surely. Again on the attack. And again, Infinity taking damage. Has to be Tiberius. Well, the judges have made their decision. Style control, damage, aggression. On aggression, they've gone from you. On style, they've gone for you. They've just gone for you. The winners are Tiberius. Um, I know it was like the University Challenge final, but that was sort of like regressed to like a, a playground scuffle. We're just like pushing and shoving and a little bit of name calling, wasn't it? Um, well, we're pretty powerful and we can push most things around. Unfortunately, their shape means as soon as you go near them, our drive wheels are lifted off the floor. Yeah. So we can't push. So we didn't really have any kind of idea what we were meant to do. See, I kind of thought that you might have gone for the pit release button, opened the pit and tried to we're get them in that. We're pretty cursed by the pit. Yeah. We've, we've been in it a few times, we don't like it. Ah, uh, so you've got a pit aversion now. Yes. Uh, well, I think everyone in Aberystwyth is going to be proud of you anyway. Well done, yeah. guys. Let's hear it! Infinity! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> University Challenge Champions! It was a bit messy, though. It was a bit... Pushy and shovey, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, we found. Well, their, their top armor is, is so thick. You couldn't so penetrate it at all, could no. you? Well, we spoke to Razor beforehand, and they said they they can't get through it either. Yeah. But if we had a go looking at their wheels, we got one pinch on the wheels. Unfortunately, just in the wrong direction. You kind of got we in between the wheel and the body of the robot, yeah. didn't you? We thought we might have. If I got that right, we could have peeled it away. But they, they drove very well and and, and made, managed to evade all the the attacks on the wheels. So. Yeah. Well, Loughborough. They're going to be very, very proud of you. You've done them proud. Ladies and gentlemen, University Challenge champions, Tiberius Three. <laughs> well, the exams have been graded. We tallied up the scores. And this lot can graduate from Robot Wars. Bye-bye. We came and we saw and we showed to a horse. There's nothing more extreme than Robot Wars. Goodbye. We came to the last series, we've come to this series, we've come to every series. We are really great enthusiasts. We love Robot Wars. We love Robot Wars, don't we, Matthew? It's fantastic. We really do enjoy it. Coming next time for Metal Mashing Maniacs and Devotees of Demonic Destruction Robots from Australia, Canada, Cyprus, England, Northern Ireland, South Africa, Scotland and Wales, it's the Commonwealth Carnage on Robot Wars.